today I'm in the middle of nowhere, my favorite place, Nevada, at the intersection of the extraterrestrial highway that goes to Rachel on Area 51 over there. And then this highway here is US 6, which goes all the way from Provincetown, Massachusetts, across the entire country. Well, it used to go to Long Beach, now it stops in, uh, in Bishop. But so at one time this was a major interstate highway that went across, or U.S. highway that went across the whole country. Now, you know, especially this portion of it through Nevada is pretty desolate. I mean, you go about 45 minutes that way and you get to Tonopah. That's pretty much the only town in the area. But I thought since I'm in the area anyways, I got to come out to this little intersection because it's also the home of the Warm Springs, Hot Spring Bar and Cafe. Well, it used to be. Okay, so before I go across the street and check out the hot spring and the old bar and grill. There's this other house here that I think we should go check out. I don't know what the story with this place was, but it's a really neat old house. Look at it. Wow. Look at the bullet holes. Pretty cool though. Let's see what's inside. <laughs> Colorful graffiti. People stop here from all over the place, apparently. Look at this. Rusty and Linda from Springfield, Oregon. Holy moly. Look at this guy. Tyler was here on the ghost town hunt from Springfield, Missouri. Wow. Alright, so basically it's just an old house. I mean, yeah, there was a closet or something. Maybe that was a bathroom. And over here, it's another room full of more colorful graffiti. Let's see if we can get through here. I mean, the glass is broken out of the door, so I could have just stepped through it, I guess, but, yeah. Such a cool place. Okay, so there's really not a whole lot of personal artifacts or anything interesting in this house. I just thought we should go through in the interest of being thorough, right? So now let's go across the street because it's way more interesting over there. All right, look at this bar and grill. This place must have been amazing back in the day. Sorry, that's my friend with me. Holy cow, look. Wow, this was a trip. Let's see if we can go in the back. Another little shed here. Nothing in here though. Antivirus. Wow, I better get my flashlight out. It's dark in here. Oh, gross, it's bad. Oh, look, that was the men's room. Just a bathroom, not much going on in there. Whoops. Here's the ladies' room. Not much going on in there either, huh? And then this, I guess, was like the main room of the bar and grill, right? You had your pool table, you had your bar, or ice machine back over there. Wow. Interesting. Got your old refrigerator or deep freeze. I guess it's a refrigerator. Your old stove. Whoa, you had your really old stove. Dang. Oh, I see. This would have been the bar. So 
this is where you came up and ordered your sodas or beer or whatever. Huh. Must have been a nice spot, you know, hang out, play some pool. Have a couple of brewskis. Look. Molly loves Jim. Well, I hope they're still very happy together. Okay, back here, look. Oh, God, this was like the commercial kitchen. Wow, nice kitchen. Oh, storage. Oh, but look how cool this old blue refrigerator is. Oh, look. It's a Norga. Product of Borg Warner. Interesting. Oh, look, this goes back behind the bar. Oh, look, there's a bat. Yikers. Sorry, bat. Don't bite me. I don't want rabies. Huh, well, there's not really much left behind the bar here. It's pretty... I mean, this place has been abandoned for 20 years. It's picked clean. But I still thought I should go in and just see if there was anything good in here, you know, just in case. Which, you know, there really wasn't. But that's okay. God, it's such a beautiful evening out here. It's kind of windy. But other than that, very pleasant out. Oh. It's like, uh, it's the last day of May, or it's May 30th, so really a nice time of year to be out here in this part of the country. There's a bunch of old stone mining cabins back there, too. They're, like, completely destroyed. There's nothing left in them. Mostly collapsed. I mean, look, I don't know if you can see. There's a herd of goat up there. Grazing. So peaceful. Okay, well, enough with all of that. My favorite thing about this place has nothing to do, as cool as that old abandoned bar and grill is, that is not the coolest thing here. The coolest thing here is in this fence up ahead. Okay, this is the coolest part about Warm Springs. I guess this was the, I know it says keep out, but one of the locals and Rachel said it was cool to come in here. I mean, the gate's not locked. She said as long as you don't, you know, leave any junk behind and clean up after yourself, that people, you know, you don't drink, party, make a ruckus, so I don't know. So, you know, I'm just gonna go in and peek around. I won't leave any garbage or anything. Oh, wow, look. Here's the old bathhouse, the old changing rooms. See, pack it in, pack it out. If you just follow that, everybody's happy. Look, dig this place, trash, broken bottles, cans, cigarette butts, drain pool, and no trespassing. Pick up after yourself or lose it. See, the ranch. So it looks like they do let you soak here as long as you take good care of the place, man. Look at all this graffiti, huh? Cute. I mean, look. That's my friend down there. Apologies. This is my favorite, probably my favorite hot spring ever because it's just like a giant swimming pool. Look at how turquoise clear the water is. And it's coming from this natural hot creek running down the side of this mountain. Look at that. Right up by that little herd of you know, goats. I don't know if you can see them because the light's kind of low right now. But yeah, this hot creek comes all the way. You can see that white sort of mineral buildup coming. I guess that's the source up there. What a trip. Okay, let me just go look on the other side of this bathhouse. Make sure I, we didn't miss anything cool on this side. More graffiti. Some pretty, pretty hardcore graffiti here. Look at this. Day 19. Naked dips. Cleansed water. My soul sips. Concrete bed and vats for friends. Magic is, huh, ah, never mind. I thought it was gonna be something cool, but it doesn't make sense. Huh. Anyways, yeah, just a bunch more graffiti in here. Cook County, Illinois, dang, they came far. Everywhere west. Yeah, you know what, I've said it before and I'll say it again. The west is the best. I mean, look at this. This is amazing. Have you ever seen an abandoned swimming pool out in the middle of nowhere like this? Boy, howdy. Wow, look, here's the hot creek that comes all the way down the mountain. I'm gonna hike all the way to the top and see for myself where it's coming out. Let's see how hot it is. It looks pretty hot. Woo! It's hot, but it's not like super hot. The 
feels pretty good, actually. I'd, I'd guess it's about 105-ish, maybe. Woo, nice. All right, let's go all the way to the top and see where the source is. Wow, look at all the buildup from the minerals. Dang, look at this. Holy wow, holy. Oh, it's so hard. No, oh, that's what she said. Oh wow, look, now we're getting closer to the top and it's really coming down. There's a lot of water coming out of this source. It's easy to see how you could fill that whole swimming pool. Getting up to the top. Almost to the source. Wow, look at that. Up here it's much redder. Down there it was all white. Holy cow. Wow, look at this hot creek. I bet it's really hot up here. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's hot. Like, oh, it's too hot to really put my foot in. Ouch. It's like boiling hot almost. Yikes. Wow, look. It just keeps coming out of the earth. Out of the bowels of the earth. Oh, it smells very sulfurous up here too. Minerals. Water's got a lot of minerals in it. Okay, let's see. It goes on forever. Dang. Gotta hike clear up to Utah to get to the source of this. It's very peaceful up here though. No rapids. It smells very sulfury. Sulfurous. Sulfuric. I don't know how you would say that. It smells like sulfur. Oh wow, look. It's like this little pond here at the very, that's the source, guys, look. Holy crike. You can see it bubbling up there. I mean, it smells very sulfury. If this was smell vision you would smell rotten eggs. And you can see it bubbling up the gases from the earth. This is where it all starts, man. And then look at all these minerals. This mineral buildup all around the edge. Wow. Now this water's going to be hot. Let's see. I can feel it. Even just standing here, I can feel it radiating up on my face, but I'll just put a little toe here. Let's see. Woo! Oh, ow! Ooh! Ah! Oiling! Ouch! That is way hot, but wow! <laughs> wow, I'm so stoked that I actually took the time to hike up to the source of this thing, because this is really cool. It's very hot. It's got a pretty good flow, so I don't know. There's a lot of potential at this hot spring. Somebody could divert this water probably and fill a couple different pools. Um, and who knows? Maybe if you drilled down, you'd hit another gusher. Uh, so if you ever wanted to operate a hot spring resort, you might want to contact these people up here at the ranch. See about fixing this one. But I don't know. It's pretty remote. It's four hours from Vegas and probably the same amount of time from Reno. And the closest town is Tonopah, about an hour away. And there's not even an airport in Tonopah, really. Just a small executive airport. So... Yeah, there's not a lot of traffic coming through this part of the country, so I don't know if it would succeed, but holy cow, at the very least you could live in this beautiful valley. What is this white mineral? It's very chalky, soft. The ground is covered in it here. Real soft. And then, uh, yeah, you can see there, the hot spring water just flows down through it. If anybody knows what this is, let me know. Okay, enough talking. I'm gonna go for a dip. All right, oh my God, I can't wait to go in this water. It looks amazing. I bet it's nice and warm. Let's see, I'll just go right in this staircase here. It's built right in just like a real swimming pool. It's toasty, man, really warm. Oh, I should have brought my thermometer. I don't have it on me. So nice. Oh, this is the perfect temperature. Man, the only downside that I can see to this right now is all these weeds here, and it's kind of windy today, and I get hay fever, allergies. <laughs> so, those little yellow guys, I think they really do a number on me. But, God, this is, you guys, I can't even describe to you how amazingly peaceful this is right now. There's nothing for miles in any direction. The highway hardly has any traffic on it. There's a herd of goats grazing on the hillside, and then this beautiful, all-natural hot creek flowing into the pool. This is amazing. What a great spot, huh? So toasty. 
And it's pretty clean in here, like there's no silt or mud. I was here mm, two years ago and the bottom was covered in a really fine white it's here. silty mud. But I don't feel any right now. So it has a pretty good flow through, you know, like you saw that hot creek that's feeding into it. And then it flows out on this side. I don't know if you can see over there. It's getting kind of too deep for me to shoot and walk, but I'll pull the camera over there. There's a, that's where the outflow is. So it's got a pretty good uh, flow through, and that's what keeps it so nice and clean, man. I mean, this is really nice. I can definitely see spending all day out here. I bring a floaty, some, well, I guess you're not supposed to drink here. I was going to say some beers, but, you know, it's a floaty and some coconut water. Read a book, relax, maybe even meet some interesting locals. It'd be wonderful. But it's really nice here right now, kind of like sunset, I guess. Oh, beautiful. Love this place. Okay, I'm going to log off because I don't want to waste all my time having to shoot this video. I want to spend some time enjoying this, you know, be here now. And also, I don't want to drop my phone in the water. <laughs> but I just want to give you guys one more beautiful panel. This is Warm Springs, Nevada. Really an amazing place. And it's got to be in my top five hot springs of all time. Even though it's not, you know, the most naturally beautiful, it's so surreal that it's got to be in my top five. And guess what? It's in Nevada. Who says there's nothing between Vegas and Reno? There's plenty. Just remember, guys, if you do come to this hot spring, do not litter anything here or they will close this place up. And I believe it. You know, if I'm them, I would do the same damn thing.